Hello, welcome to Darren's Toy Channel. Um, this week's charity shop from Car Boot Sale Hall. Um, I'm going to start with this. Picked up a Rey Mysterio mask from 2012 by Mattel. It's the soft rubber one. Really good condition. Um, one of my game local charity shops having a clear out of games. So I picked up Xenoblade Chronicles 3D on a 3DS. Game, all the stuff's in there. Good stuff. Picked up Sleeping Dogs on the Xbox 360. Picked up Saints Row the Third on the Xbox 360. Picked up Crackdown. Picked up Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Picked up Hitman Absolution, Absolution, the tailored edition. Picked up, still sealed, Hitman Absolution on the Xbox 360. Juicy X, Human Revolution, limited edition. Xbox 360. Dead Space 3, limited edition. Xbox 360. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. The Sith Lords. On the Xbox, Little Big Planet th on the PS3, Slyco Nauts on the PS2. Never heard of that one. Oni Musha Dawn of Dreams on the PS2. Two discs. And Kingdom Hearts 2 on the PS2. So yeah, um, I'll pop those out of the way. Also this week picked up a lovely, a Fantasmic MGM Studios Disney popcorn holder. Picked up a Punisher belt that's brand new to be honest. Picked up a Bumblebee. Titans figure. This is from 2013. Limited articulation, just the arms and the legs. And that's that. Picked up a tiny little Mickey Mouse figure from the Fantasia. Just says Bully Land, made in Germany, hand painted. No dates or anything on it. I thought it looked kind of cool. Picked up a Hello Kitty money box. Along with a Hello Kitty tin. And that noise you heard earlier. Oh, there's this little Hello Kitty bus full of stuff falling everywhere. Sticky missing there, but opens up and you've got random bits and pieces in there. I think I'll just stick all that together. Let's sell that as a lot. Uh, yeah, she never's got any though, we've got. Yeah, got And then last but not least, I picked up a Winnie the Pooh little tin. Got two packs of cards in it. One's sealed, one's open, but they are complete and in really good condition. Um, don't know from what year. But that's that little lot. From what I picked up today, let me just pop this out of the way. <clears throat> do, do, do. Second, excuse me. Picked up a little Tetley T Man figure, 1994. Still don't know their names. Picked up a Hasbro C3PO from 2004. One of the larger style figures, limited articulation, just arms and legs and a head. 
That's it. Um, picked up a 2013 Big E figure when he was Big E Langston instead of Big E. Picked up get on, an Incredible Hulk from 2007. Press the button on his back, and he—I think it's the one where he comes with the cars, parts of the car, and he smashed them together. But yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. Picked up two Simpsons figures. No dates on them. These are the, oh, 2014. Yeah, the talking ones. But obviously, need to change the batteries. Let's see if they work. So we've got Homer and Barney. Basically, just arm articulation and a little bit of head articulation. And strangely. <clears throat> Picked up some fine fake Minecraft Lego style figures. Got a little skeleton, and I think it's supposed to be Alex. My world in China. That's it. Picked up a 1993 Joker car. He's probably from one of the fast food restaurants. And a Robin bike. Robin's a pullback. Joker just fires his face out. <sighs> Picked up a Bucky O'Hare figure. Someone's in really dirty shape, so I have to give him a good clean. And I don't know his name. I've had him before, can't remember his name. So yeah. Picked up some oh, Top Trumps cards. Um, the larger style. WWE ones and some top trumps, superstars too. All in good condition, lovely, lovely. I also picked up some slam attacks. Basically, there's some other ones in there, but I want picked them up for the WWE ones. So we've got William Regal and Layla, obviously Shad. So they would have been about 2008. A little while ago, picked up a. I think it's a bootleg Five Nights at Freddy's figure. The only thing I think it's a bootleg because we've got this button on the back and it shims out and a strange LED colours. But yeah, weird articulation, just legs, head, and arms. Let's have to look into that one. Picked up a Venom figure with the pull tab in the back. 1999 Marvel. Toy biz. And it's... He does that. Picked up a Batman in sort of ice gear. Uh, he's missing a backpack where these would have gone into. But I thought he looked kind of cool anyway. No actual year on it. Just got DC Comics on the back. Uh... So he's a tiny little troll. <sighs> Obviously no dates or anything on that. Picked up a little John Morrison Rumbler figure from the WWE 2010. Picked up a Superhero Squad 2006 Marvel Green Goblin with glider. And a Minnie Mouse figure with no dates, just as Disney. And it's hard plastic. Picked up a twenty, sorry, two thousand and eight Donkey Kong pullback car. Picked up a Disney Infinity Stormtrooper mission disc. Don't know if my daughter's got that one. As soon as I pick that one up. Picked up another Pez dispenser of R two D two. Picked up two little wikis of one of the Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland. Um, I don't know what those dates on these. And obviously the Cheshire Cat. Because my daughter's got that little thing for Alice in Wonderland. So she'll be taking them off me. Picked up two real Ghostbusters. 1987. Little Kenner. Unfortunately his tie's broken but apparently most of these are. So we've got Egon, and we've got another Vinkman. Uh, 
And that's them. And then the last figure I picked up today was this. I don't know who it is. All we've got in the back is 1990 or 95 Reboot TM MNFRM JV China and Irwin Toys. And that's it. So if anyone knows who that is or what it's from, give us a drop in the comments, let us know. I think they might be something like Power Rangers, but I'm not sure. So yeah. It's got really good articulation of the arms, elbows, uh, head, waist, legs, knees. That's it. That's it for today and this week. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and if you do not already do so, please consider subscribing. Um, and I will catch you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye now.